What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus back again, give you the latest and greatest updates on XRP and crypto with Ichimoku. And today, I just want to let you guys know that today is looking interesting in the charts. I hope you guys are doing well. As you know, this coronavirus has been crazy and keeping everybody indoors. So I want to just, you know, say a prayer for everybody before we get started because this is a god-fearing channel and then god comes first on this channel so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with prayer heavenly father we thank you for this day we thank you for allowing us to have another day above ground we give you glory honor and praise no matter what's going on in our lives lord we ask you father that you continue to cover us all in america and across the world in the blood of jesus continue to allow us to not only to just be in your grace but to also be in your mercy at this time and allow us to use this time father that as we're quarantined to seek your face and continue to seek your glory and who you are and who you truly can be in our lives lord we give you thanks we give you praise and we ask that you direct our path and not let us not lean on our own understanding but allow us to have you guide us in everything that we do in our lives and we ask that you protect uh, the people that are, you know, help the people that are going through hard times. Father, continue to allow us to have hearts for one another and continue to allow us to look at one another with the eyes that you have for us with love, Lord. We give you thanks. Uh, we cover the, I ask that you cover the president as well. Uh, guide him in decision making Lord give him wisdom and knowledge and understanding because you allowed him to be put in office for a reason so I ask that you allow him to be used according to your will in Jesus name I pray amen all right that being said let's jump right into this analysis you guys uh, I wanted to do this quick video because I didn't have time to prepare because I, I had students that I was discussing uh, some business with and I wanted to quickly make this video for you guys uh, looking at the charts I see that you know as you can see the weekly charts saying that you know the key just in is flat right here so price is already out of equilibrium which is when that's happening price is attracted to the flatness because uh, there's no move there's no real balance in the markets out of whack so price here you see that we made an indecision candle right here and you see prices coming up so bulls are taking over right now so price could get back into this 22 cent range 22 and a half cent range so i'm looking at that currently right now and that's what is interesting at this moment because as i break it down since i'm doing top down analysis for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and go down to the daily time frame just to get a closer look so you guys could see what's really going on let me clean this up a little bit all right don't know why this is popping up on my charts Let's go ahead and delete that. And that right there. All right. I'm gonna keep that there. Okay, great. Anyway, let's go here. So as you see, this is also potentially what could happen. I want to break it down to where it's simplified for you guys. And it's funny because I called it on March. I If you guys watched one of my latest videos before this one, I had this date March and you see it the market has moved up since march 30th so the date was called pretty well but other than that what i'm looking at we are in a tk zone as you see and it's at resistance and this is advanced ichimoku for you guys that are are not familiar with ichimoku i'm starting to bust out advanced tactics with this now because the market is getting crazier so i'm trying to catch the big moves now because that's what's going to start happening is the big players and the big moves about to start happening so i will be busting out the advanced moves now so here we go uh this lag is killer you guys i'm telling you so we are in this tk zone which is our Kijinsen, which is above here, and our Tinkinson, which is below. You see that price is trying to make its way up, but we're having problem already in this area. This is the highest that price has been since uh, 
March, between March and now. Uh, so what I'm looking at, we need to get above this level here. And if we fail to get above that level, then I don't see price going any higher. You already see a little bit of rejection at this 18 cent level. So bears are trying to enter into this market. Uh, if we could get past the 18 level, we will definitely reach the 22, 23 cent level. But if we could go beyond that, this is what I also see here is a V wave, which is starting from this first initial drop. And you see price moved up, we could get this V wave, which is a Ichimoku uh, move, Ichimoku system, it's the V wave. So right here, we could get back to this level if we could get a V wave, is which I may like to see. So I do want to get in at cheaper prices, but I'm giving you the reality of what could happen. So right here, we are seeing rejection. Uh, moving the price, I mean, moving the charts a little lower, breaking it down time frame by time frame. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Uh, let's see. So here, like I said, we need to break this level before we go even higher, but we are seeing serious rejection already. Even though we have bear, bullish momentum with the cloud, we have a bright future here. That does not mean that price action will take us lower because you see here, price action, every time we got to this level, we have strong rejection. As you see here, we're already having strong rejection coming down to the one hour time frame. Let's go check that out. So you already see that strong rejection here. Let's go ahead, make this so you guys can see it. A little bit more, a little bit that way. There we go, right there. All right, so you guys, you can see the rejection. It needs to break this high, like I said, bright future, cool. But a bright future don't mean nothing if you can't break this level. And there's seven minutes until this candle closes, and this is the hour time frame. So some serious action is going on on the 15 minute time frame. We're gonna go down there and check it out. Da, 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 da. So here we go. Let's get zoomed in real quick so we got so we could see what's actually really going on. So we already have this area. We have a bearish reversal candle right here and you see this candle here. So this it may range because Kijensen is flat right now. What we would like to see is for Kijensen to angle to the upside. You see the cloud is flat and it's very thin here. That's not a good sign because if price decides to come down to this level it's not going to be that hard for price to break this level so we may look for shorting options at this point especially if this Kijinsen is broken what I would like to see is Kijinsen broken probably a retest then a move to the downside that's what I like to see so I'm not going to enter in this market just yet until we get above here and if I'm going short I'm probably not going to enter the market until we get a break at this flat key June or below this flat. That's my analysis for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And God bless you guys. All right. And peace.